Mr. Speaker, today a bipartisan group of 46 freshman members of this 115th U.S. Congress, representing red and blue states from coast to coast, released a document that we've entitled The Commitment to Civility. This evening, I'm grateful to be joined on the floor by 21 different leaders of our class, representing diverse districts in 15 different states across our great nation, to speak to this important and very timely issue. This commitment document was created in early January following our initial meetings together as a class. We discussed our mutual intent to serve the best interest of the country and to return to the statesmanship that was revered and modeled by the great leaders of our history. I drafted this document to memorialize our members' agreement to, among other things, work towards restoring collegiality and civility in the Congress, encouraging more productive dialogue, and building consensus and strengthening the public's trust in America's institutions. This document is not intended in any way as a criticism of anyone else in any other chamber or branch of the government. Rather, it represents the mutual commitments of the members of our class that we have made among and between ourselves. As we teach our own children, we often have no control over what others may do, but we are ultimately responsible for our own actions. Personally, I want to say how encouraging it is to work with others from across the political spectrum who want to lead by example and work to restore civility in our public discourse. There may never have been a more important time for that very important effort. I'm one who's regarded as probably being among the most conservative members of the Congress, and I will never deviate from my core principles. However, I am mindful to always remember that while some of my colleagues and I may have very different ideas and core political philosophies, at the end of the day, we're all Americans, and we're all made in the image of God, and thus, we believe we should act accordingly. Before my esteemed colleagues come to share their thoughts on this important subject, I'd like to introduce and read into the congressional record the document we refer to as the Commitment to Civility. It reads as follows, quote, as new members of the United States House of Representatives and as individual citizens, we recognize the gravity of the responsibility we've been given and the significance of this moment in the history of our extraordinary country.